Nej. Let y'all load back in here, man. What's up with it? What's up with it? Everybody load in. I'm going to wait till at least we get like 500 to a band in here. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my other page with the live, but for some reason it's uh like not letting me go live on uh, LA Confidential, so we here. What's up with it? What up? Am I in Cali? I'm always in Cali. I'm going to let them I'm, I'm let them get in here, let them pile in to about a thousand. I'm gonna say what I need to say. I'm gonna get back off this thing, man. They're yeah, seeing shit swirl around the internet, you know. And like, you know, sometimes, man, y'all just gotta, y'all gotta hear from the horse's mouth, man. Yeah, we almost there. We at 800, man. Ping all your friends and let them know. The game is live. I don't really, you know, I don't really even go live, but sometimes you gotta, you know. Let motherfuckers know what's on your mind so they hear from you so motherfuckers can stop speculating and doing all that goofy ass shit, man. Yeah, we almost there, 900. 900 on the side page, you know, that ain't bad. <clears throat> Hopefully all y'all having a good start to y'all summer and shit. About 30 more people, man, and we're gonna get it back in the air. All right, so look, we hit we hit a bando real quick. So look, check it out, man. Motherfuckers in my DMs and all on these, uh, you know, these blog sites and whatnot, talking about, you know, the West Coast ain't fucking with you and and you ain't, you know, you ain't this and you ain't that and you siding with this nigga and that nigga. When the fuck y'all heard me say a motherfucking thing about? Who I'm siding with or this and that, nigga. I'll be in my own lane chilling, nigga. Taking care of my kids out the fucking way, nigga. That's how I made it this far in this fucking game, man. A lot of y'all, you know, a lot of y'all fans and shit, it's kind of easy to sit where y'all sitting at y'all house and try to look and gauge this shit from where y'all sitting. But it's a lot of fuckery that go on in this industry, man. And, uh, you know, y'all can see from, uh, you know, what happens to some of, you know, some some, some of y'all certain celebrities y'all follow and whatnot. This shit ain't what it's all cracked up to be. And because I don't want to play internet games with niggas all the time or be on this motherfucker every day or be on these motherfucking these people red carpet or doing all this shit i ain't i like that shit ain't for me man i got into the game thinking that this shit was gonna be one way and it was a whole other way so i had to you know navigate myself through this shit you know the whole the, my, my whole time in this shit and i've been this motherfucker since 2003 Right? Because that's when I got signed to Aftermath, 2003. I've been this shit since 2003, being a solid-ass nigga to everybody, nigga. And if you ask anybody, you know, anybody that really know me that's in this motherfucking industry, and I'm talking about anybody, nigga, you could ask motherfucking, go ask Dr. Dre, man. Like, sit Dr. Dre down and really ask that nigga about who I am and my character and, uh, you know, like, what he really feel about me at the end of the day as a man, nigga. Fuck an artist and all the rest of that shit, nigga. I'm talking about as a man, nigga. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. my nigga Nip. But ask Nip, his, you know, if you could ask Nip himself, he would have told you. And he did tell you out of his own mouth, nigga, what, you know, I contributed, you know, to his career. From the beginning, bro. From the beginning of this shit, on the West Coast, nigga. Coming straight out of West Side Cedar Block, bombed in Piru, um, which is still my hood to this day. Nigga, ain't never slacked, ain't never ran, ain't never did nothing but throw this shit up. Nigga, I took that Cincinnati hat worldwide, nigga. I put on for Compton, nigga. And I put on for the West Coast, nigga. And Top Dog know what it is. Kendrick know what it is. Nigga, YG know what it is. Mustard know what it is. Ty Dolla Sign know what it is. Dr. Dre know what it is. Snoop know what it is. Nigga, Hit Boy know what it is. My nigga, Dom Kennedy know what it is. All the powers that be on the West Coast. And I hope my RJ, nigga, every Everybody, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on this motherfucker know what motherfucking Chuck Taylor is and what I am and, uh, you know, what I've done for the West Coast. Nigga, Draco the Ruler know what it was with me, nigga. Um, you know, we chopped it, nigga. We was in the studio. You know, R.I.P. is so. I, one thing I hate is when the West Coast motherfucker that I fuck with um, lose their life. That shit ain't cool to me. 
That shit ain't cool to me. It's cool to y'all. Y'all like to pit niggas up against each other and then go under the motherfucking, uh, you know, the comments and shit, put R.I.P. this and R.I.P. that when a nigga die and then tell a backtrack on your motherfucking, on your gaslighting ass fan, fan hood, you know what I'm saying? And, and tell a nigga, you know, Oh, you should have, y'all should have squashed that and y'all should have been bigger than that. Nah, man, a lot of, the, a lot of y'all motherfucking fans be the reason this shit is all fucked up. Now, as far as the motherfucking Kendrick and Drake shit, nigga, that's Kendrick and Drake shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They, nigga, Kendrick do his shit and uh, what he did last night, nigga, that shit was amazing for the West Coast, nigga. I sat back and I watched it, nigga. I ain't have to be there, you know what I'm saying, to think that the shit was motherfucking cool and major. That's cool, nigga. I think it's a dub for the coast. I think that what, what K-Dot did for a lot of West Coast niggas last night was hard as fuck, nigga. I think it was hard. I think it was dope of him and, and big-hearted of him to do that shit for niggas. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga learned that shit on the way up. The same way that he looking out, nigga. Niggas didn't look, nigga Snoop looked out for me like that, nigga. I looked out for motherfucking Kendrick like that. I looked out for Nip like that. You know what I'm saying? I looked out for Top Dog before it was, you know, Top Nigga. I could have, nigga, Top Dog, um, Top Dog, Wanted to motherfucking give me half a top dog. I didn't want nothing from niggas though, bro. I just wanted to push niggas in the right direction. Nip asked me personally what he could what he could do to pay me back for what I did for him, nigga. I met Nip on the streets, nigga. I brought Nip in the studio, nigga, in Encore Studios, Burbank, California, nigga. I got on two of his songs, nigga, and let him go do his thing, nigga. And Nip rose to his celebrity and to his power, nigga. But nigga, I was just a step on the ladder for something, you know. Uh, I was just, you know, there. For a nigga that was already gonna go to the moon. But niggas ain't gonna try to strike Chuck Taylor, nigga, and say I ain't do what I did, nigga. I looked out for everybody on the coast, nigga. Ask Glasses Malone, nigga. Ask anybody that you can ask, nigga. You go ask Big Boy, DJ Head, Fuzzy, nigga, anybody about motherfucking game. Chuck Taylor on the West Coast, nigga. I ain't did nothing but look out for niggas. That's all I did, nigga. Put on for my city. I took Compton around the world, nigga. I did this shit for years, nigga. I did this shit for years. On my own, nigga. Every motherfucking beef, battle, motherfucking shootout, anything that came towards the West Coast or Compton, nigga, I stood up on that shit, nigga. Me and my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know this shit. And the internet and motherfucking, um, you know, IG, Instagram and Twitter and all these, you know, fuckery ass, motherfucking mixed emotions ass, uh, fucking dick hopping ass nigga apps and sites is what fucked this shit up, man. This shit used to be smooth as shit. So yesterday when I look at, you know, what Dot did for the city, nigga, I personally thought that that shit was amazing, nigga. He didn't have to do that, but he did it, nigga, and I thought the shit was dope. As far as my relationship with Drake, nigga, I, nigga, Drake is my brother, nigga. I fuck with Drake, nigga. Drake, nigga, if I call Drake and I told him, nigga, I need this or I need that, nigga, he gonna do it. If I tell him my kids want concerts, tickets, nigga, he gonna, nigga, they in that bitch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm a father first, nigga, and, and my loyalty is what motherfuckers is loyal to me. You know what I'm saying? If you conspiring, hating, and talking shit behind my back, then it's fuck you, nigga. It's fuck you, nigga. And niggas know what it is with me, bro. I'ma stand on this shit, and you can't move me, nigga, unless you move me. And it take a lot to do that, nigga, because niggas ain't the only niggas out here pushing no lines on the West Coast, nigga. Niggas ain't the only niggas out here pushing lines, nigga. I've been in this shit for 20 motherfucking years, nigga. Standing on my motherfucking toes in this shit, nigga. I've been in this shit for 20 motherfucking years, nigga. 20 plus years. And like I said, everybody know what it is with Chuck Taylor, nigga. Ask around, nigga. DJ Quick, motherfucking problem. You know, shout out to them niggas just putting their project out. Like, niggas know, every West Coast rapper know. Whether it's, you know what I'm saying, a young nigga, a new nigga, or old nigga, nigga. I was out here, nigga. Cedar Block, Bonk and Pyro, banging this shit, nigga. Niggas know. You know what I'm saying? Whack 100, he know. I met that nigga when I met Whack 100, nigga. It was guns drawn, nigga. He was on Shug's side, nigga. Ask the nigga. I had guns drawn on motherfucking Suge and Whack, and they had they shit on us, nigga, and that's what it was, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Ask Wacko, nigga. Who was the first nigga I rolled up on, nigga, in my motherfucking Harley truck? You know the one Kendrick talk about, nigga. I was around bombed, and nigga, I was motherfucking platinum and still driving around my hood, nigga. I pulled up on Wacko, nigga, and gave him my motherfucking, uh, my demo, nigga, and told the nigga, nigga, sign me, nigga. He was like, nigga, Chuck, nigga, I want you to do your shit. Nigga, I got too much shit going right now. I can't do that right now. Nigga, it's, it's, I respected him. And to this day, nigga, CEO Wacko, nigga, that's the big homie. It's, but it's good, but he know who I am. And me and the Wacko them bumped heads too, nigga. Every nigga that I'm cool with damn near that's pushing the line on the West Coast, nigga, I done bumped heads with. Nigga, Wack 100, Big U, nigga, Wacko, nigga, everybody, nigga. I done bumped heads with nigga and held my motherfucking own. And I'm out this motherfucker walking around every day in L.A., nigga. 
I might be the most seen rap nigga, A-list celebrity around this bitch, around this motherfucker. I ain't never left L.A., nigga. I've been here since I was born. I ain't never bought a new house nowhere out of town, no none of that shit, nigga. I've been in L.A. since I was born, nigga. And I'm going to die in L.A., nigga. I'm an L.A. nigga. Compton nigga. I've been here since I was born, homie. And that's just it. And I don't really do all this motherfucking, you know, talking these days. I be chilling, kicking back. I know some of y'all hating ass, pussy ass motherfuckers in the comments gonna say this and that and that and all this. But nigga, what? I don't got no loyalty to y'all niggas and y'all ain't got no loyalty to me. So I get what it is. I understand what it is, nigga. But don't say it. Don't put my name in shit unless you hear me say it, nigga. And I ain't got And anybody that know me know I ain't got no motherfucking problem saying how I feel about no nigga. And I'm telling every nigga, West Coast, East Coast, whatever coast, nigga, if you got a problem with me, nigga, just say it, nigga. Say it, and then, nigga, and let's get to it. Because it could be whatever, nigga. And nigga's going to say, oh, you know, he he too old to do this. And nigga, you ain't no mother, you don't write the rhetoric for my motherfucking life, nigga. I ain't too old to do be shit, nigga. I'm me. Every day of my motherfucking life, I'm me. I wake up, nigga, I take care of these kids. I motherfucking make sure that they motherfucking private school is paid for. I make sure my motherfucking, my mama mortgage is good. My mortgage is good. My kids' mamas is good. All my people good. While y'all out here, oh, gang fell off. He, he, he ain't, he ain't, nigga, because I don't put out music every day. Because I ain't running to the motherfucking internet when I wake up looking for validation, nigga. That shit don't make me or break me. Nigga, I've been getting money in this shit for 20 years. My house in Calabasas, I got motherfucking parties at that motherfucker, you know, annually, man. Motherfuckers know where I'm at. And I ain't even left, I ain't even been out of California in a, in a, in a minute for not for the duration of no, you know, longer than a motherfucking few days. This my shit, nigga. I've been out here, nigga, and I'm gonna be out here. Nigga, I was born in L.A. and I'm gonna die in L.A. Nigga, niggas don't tell me, nigga, where I can't go or where I ain't from or this ain't deep. We ain't fucking with nigga. If you ain't fucking with me, cool, don't fuck with me, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, that's truth be told. And again, everybody know what it is with me, nigga. Drizzy, he know what the fuck it is with me, nigga. Ask him when you see him what it is with Chuck Taylor. Nigga, ask Top Dog what it is with Chuck Taylor, nigga. Ask Tommy Tom, two T's, nigga, what it is with Chuck Taylor. All of these niggas I done broke bread with, nigga, before this internet shit came to be a motherfucking thing, nigga. So if anybody asking me how I feel about the shit that K-Dot K -Dot doing, nigga, I think it's, I think what he doing is amazing, nigga. I think what Drizzy doing is amazing. I think them niggas just came out of one of the biggest hip-hop beefs ever, nigga, and survived, nigga. Tupac and Biggie didn't, nigga. Me and 50, we, nigga, we beef, we survived, nigga. 50 doing his TV thing, that's cool. I'm doing my shit. That's cool. I put fatherhood before all this other shit that y'all materialize, nigga. And y'all feel like y'all take that shit and say, oh, game ain't this, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I don't wake up in the morning and try to motherfucking prove myself to nobody. I done did it. I done sold platinum records. I done been around the world. I done been on fucking world tours, nigga. I'm still getting money, nigga, off the brand I created, nigga. In the hood with me and my brother and my homies, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So... If you want to say, you know, oh, game, pick this side and pick that side, nigga, game, nigga, game, pick game side, nigga. And Drake, that's my...